<laughs> Welcome to Steve's Kitchen. I don't know if this is going out and I don't think anyone's come in the room, but for those of you that are watching this later on, welcome to Steve's Kitchen. We've had a real palaver setting up to do this live broadcast. It's a lot of work, um, but a lot of fun also. So I've got new cameras. Everything is different to last week, but I think it's probably still going to be a bit grainy because our internet connections here in Australia, the upload speeds, I mean, we pay a lot of money for our internet, $130 a month, and yet they still can't provide us with very good upload speeds. So uh, anyway, no viewers in at the moment. I might just wait and see if we get joined by anyone. The question and answers, by the way, we may be able to see your questions and answers this week. Um, not sure. Uh, so far, the question and answers app is playing up again. It seems to be saying not able to connect to the server, but we will see if anybody comes in and asks a question. We'll be able to see. So just try it again, and it's saying uh, not connecting, but we'll see some of the, there are two areas that you can ask questions. I think in the Google comments, uh, the YouTube comments, and I think also within the Hangout and Air, there's a question and answers section there. Anyway, I hope you've had a great week. I have been up to all sorts of things in Steve's Kitchen. We have been producing videos and editing. Um, for those of you that are, follow the channel, you'll know I've been working on some guanciale. Uh, good morning, I've got a viewer in. Somebody's come in, good morning. Three viewers. Uh, so, as I say, We've been doing all sorts of fun things. We've got a pasta series that's coming up and I've been working on a meat series as well or a charcuterie series, uh, which will be coming up. I don't know if anybody has had chance to uh, get the ingredients. If they want to join me today baking something, that could be fun. I suppose if you have a tablet or a laptop in your kitchen, you can follow along with me and actually make what we're making today. Now, there are five viewers in at the moment. So six, six viewers. I won't keep counting them up. So if any of you are joining me, a list of the ingredients, again, we're going to be needing are three eggs. We're going to need some, uh, some milk chocolate melts. Not a lot, about, a, about three and a half ounces, 100 grams, uh, or a little bit of flour, some sugar, butter and optional a little bit of vanilla extract what are we going to be making we're going to be making a white chocolate lava cake all right oh i've just been a little note it's white chocolate did i say milk chocolate i meant white chocolate so if you want to make a white chocolate lava cake today, real time, with me in Steve's kitchen. They're the ingredients you need. Eggs, chocolate, butter, sugar, flour, very small amount of all-purpose flour. And it's not gonna take long to bake. It's a nice, simple, foolproof recipe. Now, let's have a quick look at the question and answers, see if anybody's managed to get in to the Q&A app. I think it's actually not going to be working. So I see no um, no comments. It'd be great to see if somebody can get the first comment up there and just say hello so I know who's in the room. Now, a, a little uh, the cake competition, I've had enters uh, entries for the cake competition. I don't know if any of you were planning to get an entry in there, but uh, you need to do that by the 10th of October and uh, look forward to seeing. There's been some great entries, actually, some some wonderful entries, uh, but there are plenty of slots there. If anybody wants to get in there, I'll be choosing and making uh, one of those cakes uh, sometime in the future, probably a little after Halloween. So eight viewers in at the moment. Nobody's worked out how to use the question and answers. I don't honestly know. If you go into... Uh, YouTube and you watch the video from there there should be a, a a button on the video that takes you across to Google Hangouts and once you're in the Google Hangouts I think the
question and answers app. Now I'm all a bit, I think at the moment, because this is new to me. Uh, I think the question and answers on the left hand side, there's a bunch, if you move your mouse over the screen, a bunch of buttons have come up. There's a uh, two green speech bubbles. That's one way of asking questions. And there's also a Q&A app, a blue Q&A app, which is um, uh, if you click that, you should be able to type a question, but I'm getting a message says there's a problem connecting to the server. So we had this last week. Uh, if you can't get your questions answered on there, maybe try the uh, the green double bubble uh, question and answers app, um, or get across to, um, I don't know if you can comment below the videos or get across to YouTube and, and ask a question in YouTube. It's very awkward. There's a there's a Q and A app that everybody seems to be using. I've chosen to use it today, and it seems to be the only day it's not working. So, uh, thirteen viewers in. Good morning, everybody. Will anybody be baking with me today? Is anyone going to be grabbing some eggs and making a white chocolate lava cake with me? So we'll just go into YouTube and have a quick look and see if there's any comments coming through on YouTube. I'm going to have a little roundup of the news, the food news as well, what's been going on in the, in the food world. So, no, I think we'll skip that. That's going to take way too long. Got my helper over here. We were going to go into the uh, into the video itself and see, see if anything was coming through, but... Uh, it's, it's almost impossible. I need to get back to the screen. Otherwise, we're just going to have long. So there's no comments coming through. Uh, I don't know. 17 viewers. One of you should probably be able to work out how to ask, ask a question. It's a lot more viewers than last week. And I can't see anything here. How frustrating for everybody. So sorry. Now, as a chance, if, if we end up getting no comments coming through at all, I might just have to restart the whole event. Uh, but that would be a bit of a disaster if I do that because, oh, by the way, is the, the sound coming through okay? Very, very frustrating. Is that the, uh, the comments page for that video? Just refresh. Now, I can see comments coming through on my YouTube page. Isaac Reed has said hello. Hi, Isaac. Um, Dodi, you have uh, from the from Saudi Arabia. Hi, welcome. Emily Nicole has said hi. These are coming through from YouTube. They're not coming up on my um, question and answer. That. And Stephanie, good morning to you all. Are any of you actually uh, able to use the Q&A app? There's one on review, so we need to just have a quick look at that. No. <laughs> okay, just one second. So we are getting no comments through on the comment tracker at all. 17 viewers. This is probably we're going to have to 18 viewers now. I'm going to give this another five or 10 minutes and I'm going to have to stop it and, and restart because we've had all morning. We've been trying to set this up. Um, we've got everything prepared, but as usual, Google won't let us use the live stream properly. So we're getting no questions at all. And I know it's as frustrating for you as it is for me, but I'm talking to a screen of myself. I can see no question and answers. Um, if you bear with me just a little while longer, at least last week, we had one or two question and answers coming through on the app itself.
Right. Uh, I really appreciate everyone coming today and joining this, but I, I don't think this is going to work today. We may have to reschedule it for next week because um, unless Google can get their acts together and make this hangout work, there are 17, 18 viewers in at the moment. Nobody seems to be able to send me a, a comment or interact with me whatsoever. So it, it, to me, it, that I think you'll probably all agree. I have got some, um, stay on that screen. I have got three comments on the, ah. Oh. Now, everything has just jumped up on the screen. Maybe we're gonna be able to see things. It's taken a long time. Morning, Anne. Anne is up the top of my list. Um, good morning, Anne. My gosh, if this starts working, I should be so pleased. We have just spent 10 minutes and nothing's come through. So, Anne, good morning. Um, if if uh, my helper can dismiss them on, uh, that's the one, each time they come. Stephanie, um, we can pop that up on the screen, can we? Does that work? Well, Stephanie, I'll pop your question up on the screen there and um, we're unhighlighted now. We're just going to see how that works. So you can see your questions are coming through. Obviously there's something wrong with the server, but at last they're coming through. So get an ask. If, we've got um, Stephanie, uh, Michelle, uh, Isaac, uh, Emily, Nicole. Uh, scroll down a little bit on the side there so I can see some more. Dodi. Emily's put a few questions in there. So we are, uh, Mr. Pithyog is coming through as well. Welcome, I know you've been uh, looking out to it. So we'll work through, we'll see what questions come through. This will be great. So um, Michael, thank you. The question and answers are coming through, that's great. Welcome, Isaac. Is anybody going to be making this with me? I wonder if we can get the, um, I'll move these comments out of the way that are just talking about the Q&A app at the moment, anyone that's there. And we'll get them out of the way so we can just see any new ones. Good morning, Steve. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Now, if you ever decide to try this, it's a lot of lot of fun, but it's quite frustrating. Let's bring Steve's cooking up on the screen. Good morning, Steve. Love from down under, mate. Hope everything's going well. Um, let's pop that one up there. This is uh, Partien. Am I planning to make the live show a more permanent thing? I am going to try and make it a more permanent thing, but we're gonna to have to iron out these creases, but it'll be good fun if it starts working. We're over 20 viewers at the moment. Uh, um, I've already said hi to Isaac, so we can pop that one out of the way. Dodi um, from Saudi Arabia, I saw your comment come through earlier, that's great. Emily Nicole, hi, Thank, thanks for joining us today. Um, Stephanie, hello to you too. And these are the older comments. Right, now, if anyone can get a comment to come up, is anyone gonna be cooking with me today? <laughs> right, we get, it is white chocolate lava cake, by the way. One of the simplest, simplest recipes to do, and we'll be getting on with that in, in five or 10 minutes. While I've got a few people here, um, what's been going on? I've been doing a series of pastas, and uh, they'll be coming up probably during or just after Halloween. We're also doing a guanciale, which is a cured uh, pig's cheek, and some other uh, charcuterie uh, videos as well. Maybe some simple introduction to sausage making. Uh, we'll be doing fresh pasta. There's a lot coming up. Now, with Halloween coming up, I hope everybody's happy to see some of my more popular videos from last year I took down. And uh, I say they're popular. I probably only had a, a few uh, hundred subscribers, so they weren't watched a great deal and I shall be putting those up slightly um, revamped this year. There's still a huge playlist of Halloween recipe ideas on my channel. Now, if you get across to steveskitchen.com and I'm gonna leave the link below the video, you can actually watch this live event and all the show notes. So anything I discuss, 
there'll be links below it um, telling you where to go to find out more information and obviously the ingredients and recipe for what we're making today. Um, the cake competition, some of you have already entered. Uh, I'd love to see more entries if you get the chance. Uh, the question and answers are slow down again. It's possibly stopped working. They'll probably all come in together in one hit. Um, so let's have a little look at the news, the food news around the world. Uh, I've been watching various news feeds and seeing what's going on. Uh, there's a lot of controversial pipelines being built around there was one up in nebraska i think people are getting a little bit upset about but i did notice that um in belgium they're building a pipeline in bruges and it's going from the factory from a beer factory on one side of the city and taking beer through a pipeline underground to the bottling factory and <laughs> i think the locals there are actually quite pleased about the pipeline because they're hoping they might get a break. And uh, uh, if they do get a break in the pipeline, of course, it won't be a, a sobering affair. Um, what else is going on? Uh, chocolate. Now, actually, now let's just cover something a little more serious. Coca-Cola and Pepsi are all talking about taking sugar out of their drinks there is uh, a lot going on in the news they're really talking about introducing more artificial uh, sugars and making their cans and bottles smaller than they they ever were um now i watched a show and i will leave a link in my show comments about this it was called uh the big fat truth about low fat foods quite entertaining and what it was talking about was um how the low fat drinks, uh, the sugar free drinks were very much responsible for, this is their opinion of course, for obesity. And one of the things um, they were saying was that all the sugar that is in these drinks, uh, these artificial sugar, sugars are not actually triggering off in our system um, like regular sugar is. They're not triggering off the satisfied feeling of being full. And what they did is they took a, a couple of uh, sports teams and um, they, after a sports match, they gave sugar-free drinks to one side of the team and they gave sugar-laden drinks, uh, natural sugars, to another side. And then they monitored how they ate after the match. And the people that ate the sugar-free, the diet drinks, ate much more, considerably more calories in food than the ones that drunk from the, uh, the, the full sugar drinks. And so they're saying basically these diet drinks are, are, are responsible for a lot of the obesity because what's happening is, is uh, historically our bodies are used to um, saying, okay, we've got sweetness coming through. We now got carbohydrates and sugar in our body. We don't need to eat so much. When we have the unsweetened drinks, uh, we're getting the sweetness, the flavor coming in, but there isn't the receptors inside our body saying that we're full. So we tend to snack and graze more and uh anyway it's very interesting i'll leave a link it's actually the whole program is up on youtube so you can get across and uh watch them i'll uh we've got a couple more comments come through is it to triad riser Triad riser good morning oh, it's morning for me anyway and uh I'm just going to go on a lighter side for this uh, end of the news for me is in the story Hershey's in the USA have bought out, what is it, the Golden Monkey Food Company in China. So I thought that was quite interesting this week because here in Australia, Cadbury's have announced that they're bringing out a new range of chocolates based on carnival foods. I think there's sort of toffee apple and uh, uh, candy floss flavors, which is fun. And I did wonder whether Hershey's might be announcing a, a new range of chocolates as well, maybe uh, red bean and uh, uh, squid maybe. <laughs> anyway, keep your eyes peeled for that. It'd be very interesting to see how it comes out. Now, have we got any questions come through? Emily, You'd like to make it. Have you got the ingredients? Now, we've got a second camera today as well. I'll just get that to come up. We've got a, um, uh, a cooking camera. 
So hopefully you'll be able to see that. There might be a little blank screen. So you can see down here, we're gonna have three eggs. We've got three and a half ounces, 100 grams of chocolate melts. We've got the same in butter. That's three and a half ounces, uh, 100 grams of butter. We've got a little bit less of all purpose flour and we've got the same weight of sugar. So in about five minutes or so, we're gonna get on and make a white chocolate lava cake so so simple and absolutely delicious if any of you want to join in there's the ingredients you'll need so there's been up to 17 or 20 viewers in today which is great but we're not getting we're not getting the questions a little bit dry now i don't know if you're still on here Anne and steve i know you've got channels it's it's quite nerve-wracking doing uh, doing the live ones it's a bit of fun but uh, you want a glass of water so shall we get on and make the white chocolate lava cake i think we will simple simple recipe i'll get the bowl view now so you can come down here and see what i'm doing and if any questions come up i'll answer them in the meantime and we will try to uh sort this tracker thing out again for next week so i've got 150 grams no. let me just check that i think it's 100 grams i pared this down a little bit because i just wanted to make enough for four um portions so i've got 100 grams that's three and a half ounces of white chocolate mount just going to pop those into the bowl i hope the sound is coming through well by the way and i've got the same by weight of lightly salted butter in there so it's 150 grams three ounces now i'm going to pop that in the microwave i want to melt this down you could do it on a double boiler but it works quite well in the microwave i'm going to pop that in for 60 seconds <coughs> Now, I got told off last week. Okay, we've got a bit of a dispute on the weights and measures, so I have to go around and just double check this. Now, I've been told I said 150 grams of butter, and of course I meant 100 grams of butter. Excuse me for that. All the ingredients will be listed below in the video description. Now, you'll see after just under 60 seconds, the butter has melted. What we need to do now is just mix that through until we get a nice smooth paste. Now, I had something in mind I was going to say there. There's still no comments coming through, and I know you people are commenting. We go across to the YouTube uh, comments page and see if we can see anything in there to answer. So you see what we're going to have is this sort of milky, buttery chocolate sauce. So there are comments coming through. It's a little difficult for me to ask them, answer them from where I am. What I've got is a big, big screen here, so I can see uh, what you're asking. So we've got our butter and our white chocolate. I hope you can see that that's almost liquid, and I'm just going to let that cool down a little bit on the side. Ah, the comments are back on. I've just been told. So there's some comments. Uh, I'm not going to put that one of them up on the screen because I, I can see. So Aboriginal brother says, sounds delish. I hope he's talking about what I'm making here. I'll pop that one up if you like. Thank you, bud. That's great. So I think we are having problems, but let, let, let's let's ignore the comment uh, issues for the moment. Um, I am so sorry if you can't get up. There are 18 people in the room at the moment watching, 19, it's just gone up. Um, now, you'll see that this shouldn't be piping hot. If I put my finger in there, it should be just lukewarm, and it is. Mm. Beautiful tasting, by the way. 
I'm now going to add in, and I'll just double check my measurements of sugar. Same weight of sugar, it's 100 grams, three and a half ounces, just white sugar, pop that into there. I'm gonna give that a, a little whisk through. Now I've got three eggs, as I said to you, I'm just going to pop the three eggs in one at a time, and because the mixture is not hot, do make sure it's not hot, it won't cook these eggs through. I'm just gonna beat that in. I'm basically making what seems like um, a very runny cake batter. Now, because this recipe is so simple to make, I'm gonna pop my oven on right now. It's gonna be 200 degrees Celsius, a fairly hot oven, that's 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's just pop that on. Get it warming up. So I've got two eggs in there now. Let's take a third egg, just crack it in there. Now I'm making enough for four servings, but I'm only going to make two. Uh, the great thing with this particular batter is you can pop it in the fridge, use it tomorrow, use it later this afternoon or later this morning, depending on what time of day it is with you. So you've got this wonderful, very loose batter. We are now going to pop some flour in there. Now, I just need to double check my weight of flour. It's just 50 grams. Now, that is about a little under two ounces, 1.75 ounces. So uh, just gonna pop that in there. And this is just going to bind that mixture together. Uh, bind it together. It's gonna give it some structure. Just gonna keep mixing that into the batter. A little bit of vanilla extract, about a teaspoon. I'm just gonna eyeball it in there, not too much. Now every now and again, I'm getting questions coming up, but they're not coming up very often. I'm guessing the picture won't be too good, even though I've just spent $200 on new cameras for this Hangout. I think we're gonna be restricted by our upload speeds. Now, there is the batter. It's as simple as that. It should be quite, quite runny and loose. I've got a couple of ramekins. Now, when you're doing lava cake, it's all about cooking times. And you do need to test your ramekins. These ones are fairly large. They've got a fairly thick wall on them. Um, and that can greatly affect the cooking time. Now, for instance, if you, if you use a, a, a smaller china ramekin, a thin one like this one, you might reduce your cooking time. But we're only talking between 10 and 15 minutes cooking time. So uh, the first time you make them, you want, might want to experiment and take them out a little bit early. If you tip them out onto the plate and the whole thing goes splodge, you needed to cook it a little bit longer, but it does. I've worked out with these ramekins, 15 minutes pretty much does me. Now, I've got a little bit of butter on my finger and I'm just going to grease the inside of these ramekins just to help them uh, release. Now, Fidange, hi, good morning. I can see your comment on the Google page, on the YouTube page. You can't watch it through Google Plus. I have no idea. If you're watching it on YouTube, there should be a link at the bottom of the video that will take you to Google Plus, and you should be able to see it there. So I've just greased the inside of those ramekins. Now, another little thing you could do, shall I do it today? I might do it with one of them actually. This is optional. I'm gonna get a little grater out of the cupboard. I need um, a little bit of chocolate, regular. Got a little chocolate button here. Now this is optional, but it can look quite pretty sometimes. I'm just gonna do it in one. I'm going to grate a little chocolate into here. Now, if you weren't prepared for this, you can always use the white chocolate. It won't have quite the same effect, but if you wanna follow along, you can use the white chocolate. And all we're doing is getting some chocolate inside. <laughs> See, I've got most of it over the uh, 
the countertop. We're getting a little chocolate inside and just coating the inside on the butter there. Now, all that's going to do is have a pretty little effect when we turn out our lava cake. So, if you're following along, I need a spoon. I'm just going to spoon these in. We're only going to half fill them. And I say this will make comfortably four, maybe even six if you're using a slightly smaller ramekin. Don't forget my oven is on 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. I have to give both measurements because different parts of the world use different measurements. Now, hopefully you can see that I've just about maybe a little bit over half filled these. I'm going to keep this batter because this will be for my evening for tea. <laughs> Pop that over there. Now, when your oven comes up to temperature, have a quick wipe down the side. We'll bring the camera back up, I think, to head up you. When your oven comes up to temperature, we're going to pop these in, set a timer for between 10 and 15 minutes. I'm going for the full 15 with mine, and we'll take them out and have a look what we have. Now, let me just check the temperature on my oven. Oh, we've got a little bit more way to go. Did I say I got told off for moving around in the kitchen last week? <laughs> Ange, I can see your comment. Let's bring that up on screen. My dear friend, Fit Ange, here in Melbourne. I can see your comment. Beautiful. Great to have you in. Den Gamer. Uh, let's bring that up. Am I doing this tomorrow i'm not i'm doing this live right now but this video will be up uh, on my youtube channel and also you'll be able to go across to steveskitchen.com and see the video and watch the show notes uh, at the same time so you could actually run the video i think it's kind of cool you can watch the video and then any comments or references i make will be written below but it's going to take me a little bit of time to get that done i have to actually because this is live when it finishes i have to sit down and do that and it will probably take me a good few hours um, let's bring up the next question well it's all got to it used to have a panel behind it but for some reason it's gone um, Yeah, I know there's a time, there's a great time difference there. It's Emax07. Hi and welcome to the show. Now, before again, something's happened to the comments before they were coming up with a white panel behind, and I could read them clearly. Now I can't see them, so I'm going to read them up on the screen. Great cooking clo close cooking with you from Pennsylvania. So Triad, is it Triad or Trade? I, I'm not sure. Or Tread Riser? Tread Riser, isn't it? Of course it is. Of course it is. I, I see that now. Welcome. I really hope you are cooking these and we're going to have a bit of fun when they come out and I'm going to get to try some. I'm probably going to make myself a cup of coffee because I, it's morning time here and I've only had one cup of coffee and uh, we're getting up towards lunchtime. Yeah, get Steve's cooking there below that one. I am going to get my coffee on. And this week, I remembered to grind it before the show. So I grind it and I packed it before the show. So I'm not going to have you have to listen to the coffee being ground. <laughs> Dodie, uh, you're in Saudi Arabia. If I cook now, your mum will kill you. <laughs> three o'clock in the morning, is it? Well, what are you doing up at three o'clock in the morning? If you're young enough, for your mum to be telling you off, then you shouldn't be up, get to bed. 
Now, uh, Emacs 07, I get this. I hope this isn't uh, been up a long time. This comment. Can you spray it instead of butter? Yes, that's fine. If you want to spray, we're just putting a little bit of grease on the inside of the ramekin so that when we turn it out, it doesn't stick. You don't need to flour it or dust it. What you can do, what I've done, is add a little bit of chocolate on the inside. You could even put sprinkled nuts or a little bit of powdered nuts there. So Fit Ange is saying, uh, great, I don't know why the link doesn't work. So many things are not working on Google+, Plus, but I reckon, like everything YouTube, one day it will work, and the day after that, they'll bust it again. <laughs> so yeah, I might actually, no, I'm not doing coffee just yet, but I'm going to tamp that down, pop it over here on the side. My oven should be pretty much up to temperature now, so let's take these... Take these ramekins, pop them in the oven, set myself a timer for 15 minutes, and when they come out, I'm going to be having a treat, which I wish I could share with you. That's actually 14 minutes, so when it beeps, um, I'll know that it's pretty much ready to go. Now, I did the food news. If you missed anything, get across afterwards to my YouTube channel or steveskitchen.com and watch the video through. Um, we do seem to be getting comments. They're very sporadic. The uh, Google Plus comment uh, question answers doesn't seem to be working at all. Um, if you've asked a comment uh, and I've missed it, don't worry, as always, I'll get across and answer those questions a little bit later on. Now, I've mentioned to you before about this uh, idea of making uh, more meat dishes, particularly the guanciale, which is a pig's cheek, and that means that I shall be doing some uh, meat production on the channel, and I know some people are a bit squeamish about that. Uh, please forgive me when they come up. And don't forget, Halloween is coming. We've got a massive Halloween uh, starting very soon series coming up. Um, we're probably going to be building up videos at least three or four a week um, with cooking ideas for Halloween. That's got a lot of fun. I always love Halloween time. Heaps of fun. Uh, lots of uh, good spirit around. Now, a lot of you may not know that... Um, the origins of Halloween um, or All Hallows Eve uh, comes really from a pagan. Actually, I won't go into that because if I start if I start dictating what I think about Halloween, I think Halloween should be about fun. Um, I used to live for many years in France, and some of my neighbours used to get very antsy because they used to they were staunchly catholic and they used to say oh you can't have halloween it's it's a it's a anglicized or american thing that uh, they didn't like um and in reality um uh the night of the dead or, or all hallows eve the night of saints is actually um a catholic tradition and they always have a mass on uh, on those evenings and and so it is a tradition and then we've got the more pagan uh, traditions of bobbing for apples um, which come from uh, to do with the bumper crops of apples that come in uh, that time of year so i hope this is going to work we're just going to go across to youtube and check if there's any comments coming through there there are one or two but I think they're coming up actually on the comment tracker now, so we can probably just, they, they should be coming up live. It might be my connection, but I suspect it's something to do with uh, Google again because we're getting server errors. Um, so I'm gonna get my coffee. This time of day, I make a cappuccino. I'm not gonna froth it up with the frother. I'm just gonna heat a little bit of milk, well, quite a bit of milk in the microwave and then I'm going to make myself a drink. Now I will actually try to get some people to come up and join me on this Hangout on Airs. Maybe one another YouTuber might like to join me at some point, come in and uh, get involved so that when I go and do things like that, there isn't this sort of pregnant pause. Um, they can sit and chat uh, while I'm there. So maybe, um, 
any YouTubers that want to get involved with that, drop me a line and we'll see. Or if you're a, um, a viewer or another channel and you think they might like to, drop them a line and tell them to get in touch with me. I got, uh, now you see what happens, I have no comments on screen for maybe 10 minutes and then suddenly everything comes up at once. <laughs> Jordan, you're enjoying breakfast. Breakfast, I'm trying to think. You're, where, are you here in Australia? You just woken up late? Yeah, this is the time I would normally have breakfast as well. Uh, Emacs, uh, I answered your question just in time. Good, I'm, I'm really glad. Now, I don't know how many people are actually baking this with me today. It'd be kind of uh, excellent. Um, just one second. I don't know what that means. Okay, apparently, apparently this means and I should have got it, that you can take a photograph, pop it up onto your social media page, and if you actually put hashtag um, Food Talk 002, because this is the second series of Food Talk, if you put uh, hashtag Food Talk 002, it might come on my stream, and if it doesn't, I'll check it out later. Yeah, Steve, I'll bring your question up because it's quite poignant to me. When I was um, in Italy, I was in a, a small town uh, just south of Florence called Luca. And Luca is quite uh, tr quite famous for making uh, carbonara with guanciale. And it's probably the first time, it's many years ago, it's probably the first time I actually had and watched the process of guanciale. Now, I've been making um, uh, guanciale myself at home for uh, many, many years. I can't remember the first time. I had a website uh, some time ago to do with charcuterie and I produced a cookbook as well. Um, uh, don't ask for it, it's, it's long, long since gone. But um, yes, I will be doing carbonara, absolutely. I, I cannot resist. Should I, should I get, uh, I don't know if I can grab one, I'll see. Now, can you still hear me? This is the guanciale. This is curing. It's got a couple of weeks or so to go yet, uh, but that is curing, and that is a, the most delicious cup of bacon or pancetta you'll ever try. It is so good. Uh, and I will be popping a video up to show people, if they want to learn how to make guanciale, I'll be doing a recipe on that at some point point in the future. Steve, if you haven't made it before, um, I'm sure you've tried it before. It is so good. It's possibly the most flavorsome part of the pig. I'm also going to be doing um, a brawn recipe, which uh, could be a little bit off-putting for some people. I think in America they call it head cheese, and that's quite an unpleasant name, but it's, it's all natural. It's all part of life. So Jordan, you're in Singapore. You wish you were here. I wish you were here too, because I've got um, white chocolate lava cake coming out soon, and I wish I could share it with you, Jordan. I always love to see your comments. Be good, and I'll see you around, obviously, on the channel. So Tread Riser, yeah, everything, um, <laughs> everything's good. I'm a natural. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, now, Emily, uh, let's bring up Emily Nicole. Will you make a gingerbread house video for this coming Christmas? Did you see my gingerbread house video from last year, Emily? I don't know if you did. I had a lot of fun doing that. The, making the video for the gingerbread house was a lot of work for what, for what I produced. So um, I'm not sure if I'll make, I'll definitely be making a gingerbread house this year. Uh, they're always fun to make, but whether I'll be videoing it, get across to my channel, check out the gingerbread. It's in a two or three sections. And um, my son appeared in the video, helped me um, uh, decorate the house. It's a lot of fun. That's something the whole family should get involved with. So yes, I've made them before. I may not make one this year, but Christmas coming up, um, Christmas pudding. 
I should actually mention this. If you haven't started making your Christmas puddings yet, you really should. Uh, I've got, I think, a couple of Christmas pudding recipes on my channel. Uh, there's also a simple Christmas pudding in a mug, which you can do on Christmas Day. But if you want to make Christmas pudding, now's the time to make it because it gets better with age. I tend to make my Christmas puddings this year for next year. So uh, the Christmas pudding we'll have this year, I made last Christmas. Uh, but you can still make them now. I've got two recipes. I've got another one coming up soon, which is an unusual uh, twist on that Christmas pudding. Uh, so get and watch those. Get your Christmas puddings and your Christmas cakes. All these links will be down below in the show notes on uh, steveskitchen.com. Okay, see how long we've got for these. Oh, we've still got four, four minutes or so, four or five minutes. So can we, it would be lovely if those are 20 viewers now. <clears throat> I'm starting to, to dry out. Did anyone um, see the little news links before? I thought it was a lot of fun that um, in Belgium they were building a, a pipeline for their beer. I mean, only in Belgium would they build a pipeline to, uh, maybe maybe not, somebody will tell me if they've got a pipeline for beer in their uh, towns or cities, but apparently they're gonna build a massive pipeline underneath the city carrying thousands of gallons of beer across to the bottling plant. Um, like I say, if they ever have a burst in that, the people of Bruges will be very happy indeed, or jolly indeed, probably not happy, unless it comes up from under your house, of course, where you will uh, probably not appreciate it so much. And the other news point that I was talking about was this interesting development with Hershey's uh, buying out the Golden Monkey. Uh, I mean, I don't know where Hershey's are going with that. Um, they bought the one a big Chinese company. I think they're in Beijing, might be in Shanghai, and um, they're obviously looking to get uh, some some uh, foothold in China. But uh, whether they'll start introducing interesting Asian foods, we'll see. I lived in Asia for many years. I may not have said to you. Uh, some of you maybe don't don't know, but um, we we had some pretty unusual variations of desserts i mean there was a uh, the red bean ice creams i'm sure a lot of my asian viewers uh know the white bean and red bean ice creams when i first came across it, it was like frozen baked beans on a stick and i thought i'm mm, not sure if i liked it but i actually be i came to to enjoy those sort of uh foods So, Dodi, I saw a note there on the YouTube. It'll probably come up on the comment tracker eventually that said that you were actually going to uh, make notes. Now, I will be putting the ingredients on the YouTube channel as well. So, there are 18 viewers. I think we're going to keep this going for another 10 minutes or so until I get the lava cake out. And hopefully, we're going to have a lovely burst of white chocolate lava out from this. Or maybe we'll just end up with a sponge. What do you think? So Lily Marie Graceffa, I hope I've got that right. Now, I don't know, I can't read them when they come up on the screen. I hope you people can see them. I could probably uh, hold a piece of white paper here, but it's not gonna work. Thank you, Lily. You've done a few of my recipes, great. Which recipes have you done and, and which ones did you like? We're going to have to work out how this comment tracker works because something maybe got clicked or at the, at the very beginning of this video, you may have noticed when I bought a, a, a comment up on screen, it had a white background so you could read it clearly. And something between when we started and now has changed because now it's coming up and it's got a clear background and I can't read them. Uh, what is my favorite food? If if you could invite five people over to dinner, dead or alive, who would it be? <clears throat> my favorite food, I, 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 it, I've been asked this many times. I am such a food lover. I don't really have a favorite food. I love so much food. I tell you, I have some fairly simple likes. I think everybody does from their childhood. I'm a great fan of uh, sausage and mash, much to the disdain of 
of most of my family, um, only because it's a sort of comfort food. Uh, but I like Asian food. I love uh, English style traditional puddings. Uh, so many things. Who would I have over five people to dinner, dead or alive? Oh. Uh, Emily, I, I think when you see this on TV shows, that's the beep again, so we've got a minute. I think when you see this on television shows and they ask those questions, they probably have a bit of time to prepare their answers because I really need to think that through and I probably end up making a mistake and saying people that uh, they'll say, oh, you know, you should have invited this family member as well or something. So I probably like some musical people. I'm a big fan of playing the guitar and things. I'm a, you know, I'd love to see um, if we're talking about now, I'm not going to go there. I mean, I'd love to spend some time with people like Freddie Mercury and just get... So I like people that, that give out great vibes and, and are, are interesting characters. Um, but uh, you can make your comments down below and, and maybe I'll have a think about it and, and you can ask me next week if I do this again. Right, I'm going to have to get these out of the oven. They've been 14 minutes. Are we going to get a disaster? Or are we going to get something great? Let's have a little look. Now, pop that one down there. Pop that down there. We'll go back to the food can so you can see what I'm doing. Although they're going to take a little while to cool down. But, uh, okay. I think I might because these are going to be scalding hot, these ramekins. I'm going to need a little knife just to release them. Now you'll see in the top there, I can just see a little bit of the lava coming out. And we've got this wonderful golden brown top. Now, which one had the chocolate in? I think it was this one. So we'll just take a knife now and we'll just cut around the outside just to release it. May not need it. I'm going to pop a plate on top of there. This is not too well organized. Wow. Now look. We can see already a little bit of that lava is pouring out. I'll get a spoon. And if we just cut that through. My gosh, I want to eat some of this now. Hopefully, you can see, I'll just tip that up. You can see the lava flowing out or the melted chocolate. These are piping hot when you first serve them. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, let's come back up to the, the, the normal camera view. Probably. Take another one of these out of there. Now that's a long question and I'm probably gonna, if I sit and read that, is that one I need to answer at the moment? Sorry, you did say we didn't have to cook all the batter, right? No, you don't have to cook. Um, Oh, see, I haven't cut this one round. You don't have to cook this. This batter, I've only done two. I've kept some of the batter back, and I'll probably do some this evening. Uh, now these are scorching hot. Oh, is it going to come out? Yes, it's popped out there. Now they've, they've risen a little higher. That's probably because my oven was just a tiny bit higher. If the oven is very hot, what tends to happen when you put the ramekins in is the outer surface of the ramekin gets hot it sears the edge of the pie and then the top can can buffer up anyway let's have a little look i'm going to cut this one open as well and see what we've actually probably just pull it no you see that one that one is overcooked so 15 minutes was too long this one is perfect so experiment with your ramekins you heard the alarm go off i probably left that a minute or so too long and one of them is slightly overcooked 
Steve's cooking there. You say a uh, pork HP sauce. Yeah. I, have, I make my own HP sauce uh, and daddy's, daddy's sauce. All those lovely fruity sauces, Steve. Um, you, you, you can't, I don't know if you've noticed over the years, they've gone quite, uh, quite bitter, some of them. I think they've added so many preservatives and, and stuff in there, or they've taken things out maybe that they used to be able to put in. And uh, so I, I make a, a quite a nice um, HP sauce. And I keep meaning to share that recipe. Jordan, yeah, let's hope for the best for the cakes. Is that now the cake competition or the cake, this cake? I mean, this, this looks absolutely delicious. I've got to try some of this. Mm. Oh, that is fantastic. Now, I'm going to come over here. Now, I don't know if you meant the cake competition, Jordan. Um, I hope people enter that cake competition and I'm, uh, I've had some fantastic entries so far, but I hope if you want to get across, I'll leave a link in the show notes as well. If you want to, we've got to the 10th of October just to bake a simple cake and share it with me. Uh, Nel, Nelfid one, I think that is it's a little small for me to read, but Nelfid one, uh, what countries have I been to? Uh, I've lived in quite a few countries. Uh, I lived all over the world. I spent many years living in France. I lived for many years in Hong Kong as well. Traveled into China a lot. Um, I've, I've been around the US quite considerably. Most countries in Europe I visited. Uh, I've lived in, I lived for some time in, uh, I've traveled and lived in, in India and Sri Lanka, uh, lots of places. So, um, and I still haven't stopped my travel bug. Uh, I, I love traveling. Have I ever made jerk chicken? Yes, I have made jerk chicken. It's, it's, it's fantastic. And actually, that's one of the, the lists on my to-do recipe. So when I get around to making a, a great jerk chicken. Now, Tread Riser, if, you, if you've got your own jerk chicken recipe, recipe you can always uh, chuck that across to me and um, I can compare it with the way I make it. Because when I, um, there are so many different varieties of jerk chicken and people have their favorite ways of, of, of making it. So here we go. Hmm. I am sorry, I can't resist that. I'm just going to, um, now, I would normally serve that with a little homemade vanilla ice cream or maybe just some, some fresh cream and it would be absolutely delicious. And now we've got out of focus, hello. For $175, you'd think these cameras would, and I've got two cameras, the other one's not quite so expensive. But you would think they, they'd work a little bit better. Any other questions coming up? I'm making myself a coffee, which means it's getting to the end of the show. We've been on about an hour. I'm gonna make a nice double shot of espresso, which I'm gonna pop in with some hot milk unfrothed hot milk and i'm going to sit and enjoy my lava cake lovely crema on there this is this is probably awful to watch you're probably the guys sat making making coffee but cheers good morning to everybody i'm so pleased that you came into the google hangout and joined in and and felt the pain i did as the comments didn't work there are 22 viewers in at the moment it's superb to have every one of you in here uh i hope you've enjoyed what we've done some of the news stories that we've covered and like i say get across to steveskitchen.com i will leave a link below this video and you can watch the video again if you want to i know it's very long so many of you won't and you'll be able to see the show notes any final questions? I don't think so. I don't think they're going to refresh in time for me. Love to every one of you. I want to thank everybody for coming across. Uh, my YouTube buddies, 
out there that are here today, thank you for supporting me. Uh, be good. Just make sure I haven't forgotten anything. If I have, please forgive me. I'll see you next time. Take care.